Good morning, and thank you for being here to celebrate the start of something very exciting. My name is Jennifer Lenz, and I'm married to the next congressman of the 7th Congressional District Climate. Yeah. Years ago, when I was thinking about whether or not I would marry Brian, <clears throat> I asked the questions that most of us ask, the expected questions. Do we share the same ideals, the same morals, the same values? Do we share the same short and long-term goals? And once I answered yes to those questions, I continued my analysis and asked myself, do I think that he is a good person? And I think that that's the question that most voters ask themselves when deciding which candidates to support each election year. First, they wonder if they agree with their philosophies. But then they say to themselves, do I think that this person is a good person? Should I believe what they said on the campaign trail? Do I trust what they're saying? Do I really think that they're going to put their constituents first and remember their oath when in the throes of temptation? And I stand here today before you because I am the person that can answer that question for you about Brian. Brian embodies leadership, responsibility, and honesty. He is committed to excellence, hard work, and results. He understands priorities, values diversity, and honors his commitments. And I assure you that many of the same character traits that confirmed Brian would be the perfect person to walk me through this life are the same character traits that may, will make you proud that he is representing you in Washington. And in case there are still some of, that, some of you out there that think my opinion may be biased, <laughs> I share with you a very, another very personal story. This is the story of a local family who came to Brian for help. I'm going to read this letter from a woman named Lisa Pizik. I'm going to let the story speak for itself. Suffice it to say that this letter is like thousands of other letters that Brian receives from people each year who come to his office with an issue and leave with a solution. Dear Representative Lentz, I wanted to take the time to thank you for your time and effort in resolving a problem that my daughter faced. Elena is 12 years old and was born with a cleft lip and palate. She's had several surgeries to repair this birth defect and she's doing very well. As she was getting closer to her teen years, the time came for her to need orthodontic work. This was not standard cosmetic work. It required palate expansion and straightening of the teeth that came in misaligned due to where Elena had a bone graft procedure in her gum. We chose for the orthodontic work to be performed by her orthodontist at Children's Hospital of Philadelphia. Elena has a cleft lip and palate team there who have treated her since she was born. There are specialists in cleft palate procedures. The orthodontic work was estimated at close to $8,000. This was about twice as much as we had paid for Elena's older sister to have standard cosmetic braces. Elena's medical benefits were denied for this procedure because the insurance company considered the procedure cosmetic. We appealed their decision because the problem was caused by a birth defect. However, like so many people, we unfortunately lost our battle with the big insurance company. My husband and I came to you for help. Within days, we were on our way to having the problems resolved. I am happy to say that Elena has had her braces for several months now, and has, as a result, she is a happier, more confident child today. She just commented to me the other day that one of her teeth, which had been growing in sideways and higher in her gum line, had been moved to a nor more normal position because of the orthodontic work. I cannot tell you how appreciative we are for helping our daughter to live a more normal, joyful life. You didn't ask me whether my husband and I were a Democrat or a Republican, and you didn't hesitate to go the extra mile for our daughter. Your effort to help our family demonstrated your commitment to public service and your constituents. Though this may be a small thing to you, your time, effort, and understanding have made a world of difference to our daughter and to our family. Once again, thank you for everything that you've done for Elena. You made my family and I believe that there are still good people in public office. Lisa Pizik.
Scott Pizik, the husband of Lisa, wanted to read his wife's letter today, but he could not make it here because he had to take his daughter Elena to the orthodontist for a checkup. <laughs> but I thought it was important that this letter was read today because it exemplifies the hard work that Brian has done and will continue to do as your congressman of the 7th Congressional District. So without further delay, I introduce you to the next congressman of the 7th Congressional District, Brian Lentz. <laughs> 